from Secaucus, New Jersey, from B Terrific's headquarters. There was a power surge. There's really bad weather right now, so we do apologize for that. To get everybody back up to speed, Unitas Gaming, six, three kings, three. So now we are at 1-1 one, one in the grand finals. Heading now into Arden's Forest, CTF, Cubano. I'm not too sure what just happened with that power surge. But, you know, I'm just hoping, you know, everybody at HQ for Be Terrific is safe, is fine. Please, you know, your safety, if you guys feel you're in danger, your safety is more important than a stream. Yeah, so side station match, guys. Unfortunately, Rise Nation is going to be going home. We have Optic Gaming 3-0 in Rise Nation. Gunless putting a 0-16 on that S&D. But guys, now back to the Grand Finals. Three Kings, Unitas. It is 1-2-1 in the series. We have a map number three coming up. Best of five. Again, if Unitas wins this series, we are going to be going into another series because Three Kings did win the first matchup earlier in the event. Uh, so right now we're going to map number three on Capture the Flag. Three Kings, Unitas tied 1-2-1 currently in this series. Yeah, we're good. Yeah, we're good. Ladies and gentlemen, once again, we do apologize for that. Where the headquarters is for B Terrific, there was a power outage, thundering, raining right now, so. Six three, so we're not going to get that quick three zero like Cubano was hoping for. Brutal. Honestly, you know, maybe it's a good thing. Maybe the rain can pass over a little bit while we're still inside. Don't really want to be driving home with that. Seriously. I know you have an hour drive home. Yes. I got about a forty-five minute drive home. A little bit lack of sleep, so maybe we can let the storm pass over a little bit. But we're jumping right into Arden's for CTF. Three Kings won the hard point, lose the S and D. That is the first map they have lost all tournament. Was that S and D? Let's see how they can respond from getting beaten for the first time at this event. Yeah, absolutely. So not what we expected there from Three Kings Gaming. Uh, they look to be coming off of a nice hard point. Went into that search and destroy. Didn't exactly play as well as we expected them to. But again, we're on map number three, capture the flag. So we're starting all over back from zero. So right now, going at the beginning, you know, it is a slow start. Three down currently for Unitas. Three Kings making an aggressive play right here. Pushing through. Penby's still up. Two kills in a row. Uh, Obviously, capture the flag, not the most exciting until we start getting cast going. Right now, Robbie B with a nice flank. He's going to get his two-piece right here. Hopefully, there he goes. Robbie B, nice two-piece. He gets taken out. We got two down each. Jimbo with a big two-kill right there. He eventually gets taken out by Sim. Again, three down for Unitas. Looks like three kings just constantly slaying out. They do get the flag. Penby finally, with three kills in a row, he's going to finally get this flag. And he is going to be taking him home. Really big to see if he gets his cap here to finally open it up with a 1-0 on this capture flag. Sim just went massive there. Got two kills mid. Just got three. This flag cap's coming home by Penby. Sim just went insane. Penby's 3-0 working on streaks. He's 150 away from the streaks. Sim 5-1 on a four streak. Currently working towards streaks as well. We're going to stay on Penby since he's a little bit closer to the action. A little bit closer to score streaks. Sim just screamed with all his might here in the venue, but I've heard him scream louder, but that was a huge three piece he had to get three kings up and early one nothing lead. Yeah, so right now, holding off, we do have two kills right there coming out, three kills coming out from three kings. Again, these guys are getting set up and they're putting out the kills. That's four right there. And finally, Pemby getting his glide bomb score streak. He's still 5-0 and oh right now. 1-0, oh, flat cap, and right now, Robbie B. Take the flag. It looks like he's going to have a clear run home. And on that mini map, there is no opposing members from the United States to cap him. So right now, 2-0 victory for three kings. These guys are going to be seen to rally this flag right now. Two down for the United already. Again, three kings putting on that pressure. Right kill right there for Pemby. All three score streaks currently. Pemby looking nice with that AR. Just beaming these guys right now. 
giving his team that advantage to keep pulling that flag. Again, he's going to be able to hold off Unitas from pushing through. And again, he still has those three score streaks. Absolutely. Pemby was like, you know what? Simp's been a superstar. He's tired of Simp getting all the love. Starting off 8-0 in the grand finals. Gets the ninth. Fully streaked out. Pushing the flag again. Keeping the pressure up. It's 3-0 right now. Three kings. Pemby's running the flag home. Honestly, he could probably streak himself to get home. Pemby rushing through. If you look at the mini-map, it's all up to number five archives to make a play here. Gets the bunker. Escapes with the flag. So now we're going to have a little bit of a stalemate right now. But Jimbo takes out Robbie B. Little bit Nacho takes out Jimbo. So it looks like we were heading towards a stalemate. But Pemby takes out archives. Pemby's still alive. Profizi gets clutch. Flag is going to be going away, calling in streaks, making sure, checking where everybody is, calls in the glide bomb to make sure they can get the flag return, making sure nobody's close on him. Here comes Penby to the 20, the 10, touchdown, 50 points off of more score streaks, 11 and 0. Penby, 4 and 0. Guess he was mad they lost the SD. He is absolutely shredding, 12 and 0 right now. Gets the glide bomb again. Another kill off of getting the fighter pilot. What else can we say? If he gets this kill, it's just insane. Archives does take out Pufizi, but this is the Penby show. Yep, Sim just captured a flag 5-0. I'm not worried about that. We're staying on Penby until he actually dies his grand final. So right now, Penby with a 13 0 Kill streak right now. This guy is on fire. Finally gets taken out, but Pemby making so many big plays for his team. This man not open, not only opens up the map for his team, but he also gets 13 kills back to back. Pemby, like you said, probably upset they lost that last SD. Again, nothing to worry about because obviously these guys are making a statement coming into the first round of Capture the Flag, map three of this best of five. Tied one to one right now between Three Kings and Unitas. 5-0 currently for Three Kings. Again, these guys want this map. You know, maybe we might just see them secure this here. And that'll give us another flag cap right there. Profizi bringing it home. So we have 6-0 to zero lead. I thought they took Gridiron out of the competitive map set. This is a Gridiron score. Gridiron was World War II's attempt at uplink. Throw the ball in for three points. Dive it in for a touchdown, which would be seven. Six nothing first half. This is grand final. I'm not too sure we're witnessing it all. Bufizi starting to hit up. Archives gets the kill. Not able to get that last second flag touch to extend around. It's six nothing, and there's a lot of friendships being dropped right now by three kings over towards that Unitas side. A lot of friendship talking going on down there, guys. These guys are they're starting to build that bond together on main stage. You know, these guys are becoming really friendly. As we could say, we, we hear a lot of friendly words being brought out. You know, the F word is friendly for us here at ETG. Uh, so these guys are getting to know each other very well. Again, 6-0 to zero going into the final round of this Capture of the Flag. Map number three, not what we expected after the fact that Three Kings just lost at S&D. 6-2, and now they come in. And they're already up six to zero. I mean, so what's going on? Right now, it's the slaying. So much in favor of Three Kings. Look at it. Smack and Clutch have the same amount of kills as Flag Caps that Three Kings has. No, that's insane. This is Grand Finals. This is the defending EOT champion. It, it seems like they don't want to play CTF. That's all it seems like. All right, you know what? Throw this one to the chalkboard. Let's get to hard point where they, I guess, feel more comfortable, but this is just brutal. This could be demoralizing to Unitas, heading to hard point, which is gonna be Arden's forced again, having to replay the same map. Yes, a different game mode, but the same map where you were getting smacked by three teams, 16 and three. Set. Oh no. I, Robbie B's getting Robbie B, Pemby with another kill. Simp with the kill. Take it to the house. Four dead. This is another flag cap, 7-0. At this point, what's gonna, who's gonna have more kills? Smack and clutch, flat caps for three kings, or the amount of time that Pemby's gonna die? I'm just confused. After that last set of D, again, some sign of life coming from Unitas, and now they're just getting bangled. Right now they're getting destroyed, seven and zero. Obviously, these guys are definitely gonna take it. I don't see Unitas bringing back seven caps at least, and as it is. Three Kings is not stopping. These guys are continuing to push aggressive. They are getting the kills that they deserve. Pemby finally, once again, being taken out. Pemby bringing it to the house. 
but not just him, but Sip, a.k.a. Nacho, 17-6. and six. Sip has been on fire. Robbie B, three score streaks. I mean, these guys are going off right now. Very bold move trying to drop that score streak. I don't think he really saw that guy coming for him. Again, still has his score streaks. But these guys are going off right now. Absolutely going off. Life Proof Feezy, who is an aggressive sub player. He's only 9-7, and seven, and they're up 7 nothing. He's just sitting back right now, jumping around, diving around the map, probably testing his buttons out, making sure they all work fine for the LCQ. Because honestly, what else can you do when you have Simp, when you have Pemby, Robbie B, and Simp all just going insane slaying numbers right now, especially Pemby and Simp? Combine what is that? 37 and 12. Jeez. Just slaying incredible. Smack and clutch combined 9 and 27. 7 nothing. Honestly, they're lucky it's not 10 nothing at this point. Full streaks on Robbie B. If any if for some reason some type of miracle happens. I'm curious to see if Three Kings wants to put 10 10 on Unitas. As like a statement like, you just got lucky that SND, we're the dominant force. We're going to show you guys that right now. Now what I'm more so upset about right now in this match is that at this point in time, we could have had a 3L. Unfortunately, three kings could not clutch up and win that SD. So now we're going to go to a map number four. Now again, SD didn't look so hot for three kings. Unfortunately, it does happen. Unfortunately for us, they lost. But finally, they come back, and they make an impressive run here on this capture the flag. And it's still going. These guys are going to get a ninth flag cap. Hopefully, they run it back again and get a tenth. These guys are looking unstoppable right now on this cap or the flag. And, uh, yeah. The cap, did, did it go through, actually? I think they, did not. they stopped Sim right away. You know what, Unitas? Yes. Play for pride right now. Don't let them put 10 up. Don't let them fully run the score up on you. 8 nothing. You're All you're doing right now is playing for pride. No one's going to finish this game positive or even even. Just make sure your shot's warm for hard point. That's all I can really say. This is just absolutely sad. 8 nothing. Honestly, I feel like me and you are playing for Unitas right now, just getting smacked. I'm probably clutch. You're probably smacked. Sorry, guys. We flipped the controllers out. Our bad. We'll give you guys back the controllers for hard point. So, unfortunately, it's coming down to the end. 30 seconds coming up right now. 8 to 0. Three kings. Showing a statement here after that search and destroy loss. So again, moving into map number four, we're going to be going back again to Arden Forest, map number four, hard point. Can this be it? it will this be the end of Unitas? Oh, oh, thought Jimbo was going to try and put in a prideful flat cap, but Profizi shuts it down. They're going to keep the shutout. They're going to keep the AO 8 out alive. I wonder if Three Kings is mad that they've gone through the whole tournament not dropping that, go to grand finals, and they dropped their first map, so they wanted to be like, you're not getting a flat cap. I think that's even. Heading the hard point, I think I heard a very strong friendship right there. Yeah, so it's getting weird, and it's getting friendlier as we get forward. Uh, into this These guys are getting extremely friendly. Starting to grow that bond, like I said. So again, map number four coming up. Two to one, three kings in favor. And uh, we're getting a lot of friendship talk uh, up on main stage. Now, obviously, we're being extremely sarcastic. I think everybody can put two and two together and know that they're actually saying fire truck because this event was on fire. ETG 15. <laughs> Thank you once again to all our sponsors. GameStop, Airdrop Crates, Aporia Customs, the Conquer app, be terrific. The whole staff we had out here today, thank you so much for coming out. Made this event run, probably the smoothest event we've had. Little, uh, little things with a little drink. Not going to discuss it right now. You can look it up on Twitter, see what we're doing. Right now, I'm just going to wait for the ref to give us the okay. If I'm Unitas, I want to start this map as soon as possible just so they can erase the bad memory out. But if I'm Three Kings, I'm sitting back right now. I'm sitting comfy. They're on championship point. Heck, even if they lose, the, no. they can go to the s and We're not talking about a loss here. We're not talking about a loss here. We're, we need a lot of friendship talk from the guys down there. I need more excitement. I need more of action going on. Uh, we don't want a map number five. We want these guys to finally close out Unitas. Again, they shouldn't have lost 
that search and destroy. Unfortunately, they ended up getting taken out by Unitas. But we are going to game number four on hardpoint, Arden Forest. I really want to see Three Kings just close it out. Honestly, I, I faded out. The hair, the gel needs to be repolished. I'm fading out. My voice, uh, I can feel it. Tomorrow is going to be a extremely fun day of not talking to anyone. For 12, 13 hours, getting up, I have to work tomorrow. My manager wouldn't give me off. Nice. But I'll just find a way to just do the simple jobs tomorrow. Ladies and gentlemen, once again, this is Three Kings versus Unite Us Gaming. Grand finals here at ETG 15 at the lovely West Rock in Nanuet, New York. You guys can't see the camera, but there's a soccer field behind us in a whole venue. There's basketball courts. This is a huge entertainment center. And, you know, always big fan of coming out here they hosted the last four events for us great atmosphere if anybody is trying to play eight holler at your boy and jay cabana will set it up after this match but again going Hold up. into time out, time out, time out. <laughs> you want to play eight after this but you don't want the ser but you want the series to end but you'll play eight i was being sarcastic i want this series to end i want three kings to finally be reign supreme champs but again, dropping into hard point on hard end forest, map number four. Three kings with the 2 0 lead. 2 1 lead, sorry. Uh, map count. So right now, three kings getting on the hill first. Actually, names have been flopped, guys. Flip flop, sorry. Three kings is Unitas. Yep. Three kings is Unitas. Unitas is three kings. My apologize. It's, I'm so tired, I forgot to flip it. Do apologize for that. But once again, it is Unitas off to a pretty solid start right now. Up 18-4, getting the kills, killing him right there, Robbie B. From Three Kings. Once again, Three Kings is red, Unitas is blue. A little bit of a flip did not happen. We do apologize, guys. But if you know your team, you know the team names, you'll know exactly who's who. But it's Unitas up to a 29. Seven. It's going to be about 31 to 7 after the first. So, what a good answer after getting completely swamped in the CTF. Coming out big, but friendship was just screamed out right there. So, wonder who that was. Cubano. Friendship. Always friendship. Kills coming in from Smack, seeing if they can't make this come through. Simp on the hard point gets the first. Playing his life top, once again, gets the second. Can he get the third? Yes, he does. The snap is alive. Somebody check his controller for extra aim assist, because that just did not seem natural. Yeah, so Simp, big play right there. Simp, again, guys, for everybody that doesn't know, is Nacho. Uh, and Simp playing well here, finally seeing three kings, bringing it back right now at 40. They're about to hit 50 right now. Three kings doing work. This is map number four, two to one, three kings uh, in the lead. So we're trying to see what's going to happen here. Sim kind of just roaming around mid, takes out Jimbo. Now, can we talk right now? He is on the EU cadet, but he's rocking the luminosity camera. Is this intel? We'll have to wait till February. But once again, Simp is Nacho pushing in the back of the hard point. He's currently on a 5-3. He's on a 6-3. He's not missing shots right now. He's 25 off a full streak. Unitas started strong. And then Three Kings was like, yeah, no. Simp 25 points off that part of Pilot, holding his back. Robbie B is getting the kills. The Slay is coming out for Three Kings. Pemby with a kill. Simp pre firing fire cut. Smack does take out Robbie B, but Simp just gets all this time up. And what was a 30 to 7 lead for Unitas has now flipped to a 40 point lead for Three Kings. Yeah, so right there, Robbie B, three kills in a row, back to back to back. And then he also screams some friendship. Uh, so Robbie B, really friendly guy. I feel like he has to say a lot about fire trucks this event. Well, I mean, yes, he looks like uh, Post Malone, as the chat so helpful to say. So for Post Malone, White pretty Irishman. friendly guy. Oh, Jesus. Okay, I clutch gets taken out. Pemby looks like he's continuing his shot. Still pretty warm from last map. 
eight and five. 24 seconds to hard point. Just gonna play his life, wait for the team to come fill in. Robbie B with another one. Jimbo takes him out. Archives simple with the nade. You just see Pemby just holding this angle right now, seeing if he can't get anybody weak. Easy with the two piece. I feel like this whole map is just somebody on three kings getting a two piece. Easy. Pemby, Robbie B, Sim, and three kings. You don't see those two pieces. Those momentum kills coming in. Heck, by three kings right now. Who is red has about a 50 point lead heading into the second rotation of hard points. Yeah, so finally, looking like three kings will be able to hold this off. Don't cross, I cross, 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 cross. But still, holding a decent lead right now for three kings. Uh, this will be the first hill that we're going to be going over to. The first hill that actually Knight has held a pretty down pack defense here. So again, they actually get their first once again. Really hope they don't hold this hill off. Again, I really hope three kings plays aggressive. Unbiased commentary right now from Cubano, ladies and gentlemen. He wants both teams to give it their all fight. I want both friendships. He wants both friendships. Unitas having a solid hold here again, like in the first hard point. They had, they've had now about 25 seconds uncontested. Getting that score back in, quietly climbing back in. It's now a 30 point game. All the kills are blue in the kill feed. And three kings, I guess they just don't like this cave hard point because this is the second time where Unitas gets the majority of the points. Look at that, can he get the kill? Yes, he does. Archives, that's a huge kill. Starts getting streak. gonna put streaks down on the next. I thought he was just calling him out, calls him the glide bomb, hoping on a rotation. Sees that there's three next hard point, gonna kill one. Never mind, the hunker eats that glide bomb. Little, little unusual that a bomb dropped on your head and a little hunker can protect it. Well, not my say. Three kings getting the kills right now. Pemby slowed down a big time, was a five, now nine to 13. And that's why United has come all the way back into this game. Yeah, so right now, closer game than I expected. Both teams going head to head, back and forth. Score streaks coming down for Simp, aka Nacho Man. And doesn't get anything right there, unfortunately. But they do have that hill cap currently. And we're looking to see something going for these guys. Hopefully Three Kings can hold this off and build some time off of this last hill. Because unfortunately, this baby is going back and forth. This is back and forth. Let's see who's going to pick the scrap time. It's looking like Profizi is in line to get the scraps. For some reason, number three, that is Smack, is pushing for the three, four seconds of scrap time, which gives you three kings perfect chance to set up for this next money hard point, which simply went crazy on last time. Currently in the hard point. Dies, clutch, just big scream, big two piece. Looks like the kills are finally going in the way of Unitas. Pemby gets the kill. The hard point is right now uncontested. Keep an eye on that game clock. We're now going to be three minutes. Maybe it comes into a factor. Ardent Force tends to be the map where it does. But Simps just like, you know what? I'm going to streak the front of the hill. Now they can only come in one way. And I'm just going to kill everybody behind it. Look at Three Kings to get a majority of these points right now since the front entrance of this hard point's blocked out. Simps got the backside. United just has to give them these last points so that way they're not feeding score streaks and kill and they got to set up for this next hard point which is going to be crucial because if Three Kings can get the over 200 points it's looking like it might be a GG. So it's looking like it's starting to be a snack here for Three Kings gaming. Finally, taking a little bit of a decent lead here. Bendy with a two-piece. Coming around clock, we're going to be starting to hit 180 for Three Kings gaming. Again, guys, if Three Kings gaming wins the match, it'll be over, and that'll be the grand finals. So we're still keeping it alive right now for Unitas. Right now, they are holding the hill. 39 seconds left on this East Road Hill, so that's plenty of time for either team to pick up some time here. Again, you want to get as much scrap time as you can because you're coming to the end of the game. So three kings gaming almost at 180. Big plays right there by Robbie B. Holding the ball for his squad. Robbie B. already 26 and 20. This man is picking it up for his squad. Turns on him. Get that he does it. Oh, yeah. he do he playing flawlessly right now. Three Kings Gaming constantly picking up each other's backs. Playing well right here. Playing like it's Grand Finals. Hey, guess what? It is Grand Finals. It is Grand Finals, and I guess Cubano, Three Kings is fan of you because right now they are putting the hurt on Unitas Gaming after what just happened. 
in the CTF. We are at about going to be a 90 point lead for Three Kings. They can close it out here, ladies and gentlemen. They can close it out here. They will be your ETG champions. They will reclaim their throne as the champs. After EOT, if Simp gets this, he almost got it. But right now, the energy, you feel that momentum right now. It's all three kings. Simp, oh, choked that one. But Pemby just sitting back in Hill. He was uncontested for about 30 seconds. The pre-fire tries coming in. Jimbo shuts it down. Profizi shuts down Smack. In all honesty, three kings can just let Unitas get the rest of the scrap time set up. But you know what? They want to end this. They don't want to leave anything without. Profizi's going to get the scrap time. Going to drop them within five seconds of championship three unitas has to play flawless hard point or else it's game over i don't think it's possible for them to score 130 points consecutive yeah at this point i think that is all she wrote for unitas gaming currently three kings nine points away from winning this map number four three one series for the grand finals so three kings we're going to stay on them hopefully they can close it out again Watch with the big three piece there does not want to go silently enough. into the She's night at this point Let's see hopefully I mean, who knows clutch still trying to keep it alive for his team Pemby two piece headshot right there nice play by Pemby again hill is still being contested and now two kings three kings finally back on it and i think that's all she wrote for etg 15 your etg 15 finalist three kings gaming three kings gaming Pemby, proof easy simp robbie b will be your champions taking home that 3200 dollars congratulations to them at the end of the map, you heard all that friendship between the two teams. Very strong bond, these two teams having faced each other twice. What was it? They played seven maps against each other. Last event, without Robbie B, Earth Root Gaming, Unitas Gaming was able to do back-to-back -back best of fives to take the grand championship. Had Robbie B, 3-0, 3-1. Robbie B looks like he might be that X factor for this team to get them back on their streak of winning consecutive lands. Yeah, so absolutely, guys. Great gameplay right there. That was your grand finals. Unitas, unfortunately, couldn't come out with it. Three Kings Gaming ends up 3 one in Unitas for grand finals. Finally, Three Kings Gaming finally put it back together again. Robbie B, like you said, the possibly the X factor for this event. Definitely played extremely well towards the end of this tournament here tonight, guys. And again, ETG 15 is now the Three Kings Gaming Tournament. Simp, Profizi, Pemby, and Robbie B looking really, really well there. Played extremely awesome. These guys were rotating. These guys. Were you know talking. what they played like? They played like kings. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, we here at ETG, the whole staff. Myself, Cubano, we'd like to say thank you for everybody who's tuned into the stream, shared the stream with your friends, told everybody to get in there, showed the support. If you were here competing at the venue, we hope you had a fantastic tournament. Hope you enjoyed playing quality Call of Duty, watching quality Call of Duty, hearing the best puns you'll ever see on a competitive gaming cast. Conflicts, not here. He said goodbye earlier. This is deceptive. NJ Cubano. Ladies and gentlemen, we wish everybody a fantastic evening. Thank you for tuning into EGD 15. And until next time, deuces.